Hi, this is Steve Rode with Pilot.Dog. Now, I don't think that people realize how much time it takes to get ready for a flight, even when we arrive at the airplane. So I'm going to let you watch this while, in the background, you'll hear the summary of our mission today. Here we go again. Off on another trip. Yep, Pilot.Dog mission. And, um, well, of course, we have to thank our great patrons who help to support us <clears throat> and allow us to... Uh, do these missions and without you we wouldn't be able to do them so uh, on behalf of the dogs today and us and us we thank you thank you so much very much so today's mission is i'll turn it over to pam since she's the logistics coordinator <laughs> yeah today's mission we are actually going to harnett uh, regional jet port where we will be picking up three dogs from a Fayetteville kill shelter. Uh, the shelter was on code red, which meant it was full, and these three dogs were next in line to be euthanized. So, um, a rescue called Pet Match Rescue up in Pennsylvania contacted them and boarded the three dogs until they could find somebody who could fly them up to uh, Trafford, Pennsylvania. So the shelter in Pennsylvania contacted them? Evidently, the shelter in huh. Pennsylvania contacted them. Wow. That's my understanding. And so we've got three dogs, three male dogs. Um, one is 18 months old and 18 pounds. And I cannot pronounce its name. It's a Beisinji mix. And um, his name is Red. And then we have two, three Walker Coon Hounds. And one is called Oliver. Oliver is 33 pounds. And Hunter. Hunter is 49 pounds. So I'm really excited because we're going to have a full plane today. Yeah, it should be about a two hour and 20 minute flight from uh, Harnett to Latrobe, Pennsylvania. That's where we went last time, was yep. Latrobe. Latro it's a nice airport. It's a, yeah, it's a great airport. And, and it's not far from Trafford. No, and uh, they have one of the top restaurants at the airport. They so. do. Well, it's Arnold, Arnold Palmer Latrobe Restaurant, so they've got great tea. Yeah, they, they do have great tea. <laughs> You're right, they do. Um, and it's looking like a great weather day. Last time we went to Latrobe, it was... Overclass, cloudy. Yeah, it was overcast, we came, rainy. Yeah. It was nasty. Yeah, it was nasty. Yeah. But, um, so we're excited. Uh, these dogs, we're having two people from the shelter are actually bringing the dogs to us to the airport. And so I that's from the, them. from the kill shelter? Uh, yes. But the people are from the shelter. Okay. But the dogs, I understand, were put in a kennel and they're being charged the uh, rescue is being charged ten dollars uh, per day per dog oh, okay All right. so and they were running out of funds so if that was the case the dogs would be put back into the shelter and killed, and killed because they were the last ones to come out right. and nobody wanted to uh, adopt them however the pet match rescue is having a big adoption function next Thursday and they want to get the dogs up for that because evidently uh, lots of people are looking for the coon dogs, mm. and so yeah, so it's going to be really good for the dogs. The dogs evidently are great dogs, and I'm really excited about it. Awesome. All right, we'll keep you posted. Okay. After getting the plane ready, we were all set to take off. And Triangle Skyline 431 taxi, high down area to uh, runway 23 for departure. You want to be my checklist helper? Okay. Just, just read those things. Belt, harness. All right, let me put my seatbelt on. Check. Flaps up. Flaps up. Vent defrost. Defrost. Avionics on. On. Set. XPTTR standby. Standby. Yep. Transponder. Addis. Um, ATIS, AWAS, we have AWAS. that, check. Altimeter set. Check. Radio test. Check. Taxi light. Check. Brake test. Check. Altitude. Uh, check. Okay. Turn coordinator. Yep, check. 
Hi, hey, Compass. compass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hi, Compass. Compass. Check. Okay, ready for the run-up checklist. Brake. Check. Fuel. Check. Trim. Check. Flight control. Check. That's instruments. Mixture. Rich. Best power. Best power. Primer. In the lock. lock. Flaps. Ten. And before we knew it, we were ready for takeoff and off to pick up our three passengers. Here we go. Full throttle. Full throttle. 2600 RPM max. Manifold pressure, oil pressure. All good. Rotate. Rotate. Bye. Flaps up. Flaps up. We're in the air. All right, takeoff checklist complete. Yep. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye, car. <laughs> Linda, a pilot and pause coordinator, contacted us to see if we could transport the dogs as soon as possible. The dogs have been ready to go since September 26th, but funds for boarding the three dogs was running out. If they didn't find a way to get them to Pennsylvania soon, the dogs would have to be put back into the shelter and would most certainly be put down. The shelter was on a code red, and they were full. After about a 20-minute flight, we reached Harnett Regional Jetport, where we picked up our passengers, loaded them up, and headed off for Latrobe, Pennsylvania. And Harnett Regional, Skyline 431, turning final, runway 5, Harnett Regional. At Harnett Airport, we met a wonderful couple, James and Marie, who were able to bring the dogs to Harnett Regional Jetport in Irwin, North Carolina, for us to transport to Pennsylvania. What a wonderful, loving couple. They had never met the dogs before, but they treated them as if they had known them forever. They told us some little things about the dogs they had observed on their way to the airport so that we could make the dogs as comfortable as possible. And they even had seven dogs of their own. What we discovered is that Red loves to be held and cuddled. He'll just sit on your lap and lay his head on your chest. He does like to lick your face. And Oliver is the smallest of the two coon hounds. He's very sweet and will stay by you and do as you say. He's very loving and will put his head on your leg while sleeping. And Hunter, well, he's the biggest and the strongest of the coon hounds. He's so strong, but he's very sweet and he'll lay right down and sleep if you give him a chance. Getting the dogs in the plane was quite an experience. It was like trying to get one in, keep one in, get the next one in. They wanted to be wherever they weren't. A red wanted to sit up front with Steve, but before the flight he decided, no, no, I want in the back where all the action is. And once the flight got going, they all settled down and slept for the two and a half hour trip to Pennsylvania. Pam just sat there and petted them and rubbed them and cuddled them so they knew they weren't alone and everything was okay. Every now and then they'd wake up and look at Pam for reassurance. And she'd just love on them even more and they'd go right back to sleep. We were both so privileged to be able to help them move and transfer to new homes and a better life and going to their new forever homes. Ooh, it is warm. It is. I want to keep red. <laughs> Uh, I know. They're just such good dogs. Alright, I'm good to go if you are. We're good to go. Alright. Harnett Regional, Skyline 431, taking runway 5 for departure to the north. Harnett Regional. Good to go. The dogs appeared to have no issue with flying and took to it like world-class aviators. Uh, 
All right, thank you. Yeah, uh, as filed, 4,000, expect 5,000 after 10. Squawk at 1375, and I'm with you on the free. Compassion 431. That's 431, read back. Correct. Raleigh, Compassion 431. Compassion 431, Raleigh, Post Raleigh, out timbers 3015. What is your encore setting for La Trobe? It is a 03. Wow, zero, zero, okay. Um, Compassion 431, let's do this. Clear direct Raleigh VOR, that's RDU. Clear direct Raleigh, and after Raleigh, on course, direct Latrobe. All right, uh, cleared Raleigh VOR, then direct Latrobe. I'm currently at 4,000, 431. Compassion 431, Roger. I'll climb you up, you got a helicopter, CH-47, that's done to 2 o'clock and 4 miles, northeast bound, 5,000. You need to help behind him, we'll climb you, and I'll climb you up. All right, thank you so much, Raleigh. It was a long flight to Latrobe, Pennsylvania. It was about a two and a half hour flight. And as you'll see, the weather changed a lot on the way. We also had the privilege of flying directly over the center of Raleigh Airport. The air traffic controllers were so kind to give us that direct routing because we were a compassion flight. And uh, as we got near towards the mountains, the clouds started building up a lot. And then we spent some time in the clouds and actually some time in the rain before we got all the way up to Pennsylvania. Our route took us from North Carolina to Virginia, to West Virginia, to Maryland, and then Pennsylvania. So we had a lot of time to look at scenery all around. As we headed further north, even the leaves were starting to change. And we saw the most amazing wind farm up there. It was uh, either in Maryland or the edge of Pennsylvania, but uh, I hadn't seen such a big wind farm up that way. Woke up just in time, LJ220 buddy. LJ220 will be ready at 2-3. 228, hold short, awaiting uh, correction, landing traffic. Holding short, LJ228. All the dogs seemed to wake up as we landed at Arnold Palmer Regional Airport in Latrobe, Pennsylvania. We parked our plane and refueled at V Neal Aviation. Uh, v E E N E A L dot com. Can't recommend them enough. We stopped there on our last Pilots and Paws trip as well. And for you pilots out there, it's a great FBO to stop at. They're wonderful people, free fresh cookies, cold drinks, and good price on the fuel. Becca, the customer service representative, met us with water and treats for the dogs. It's so nice to go somewhere that's dog friendly. Doesn't get much better than that one. No, <laughs> that's pretty sweet. Palmer Tower, Compassion 431, clear to Delta. Compassion 431, taxi into the ramp, monitor ground 121.8. 21.8, 431. We learned an important lesson once we got to Latrobe. If we thought the process of loading the three dogs was an ordeal, getting them out of the plane in an orderly fashion was a new experience. Both of the hounds wanted to jump out through the window as quickly as they could. But thanks to Dane and Rachel who met us at Latrobe, Pennsylvania to pick up the dogs, we finally got things organized, we got them on a walk, we helped them stretch their legs, and we got the harnesses off them, got the collars on them, and somehow folks that never met before somehow coordinated handing over the dogs and getting them on their way. Dane and Rachel came from the dog rescue to get the dogs, they met us at the airport and they came through the gate and they drove right up to the plane. You would have thought the dogs had known them forever. It was like they were going home. Red was actually going to be fostered at Dane's house until he was adopted. And Oliver and Hunter were going to the dog stop. And from what we're told by Pam Nickel, it's a wonderful facility. Once we got the dogs unloaded from the plane and after they'd had their walk, it was time for them to get in the car and head to their new homes. But that was another adventure in loading. Dane had to get in the car, and then we kind of passed him dogs. Uh, he had to crawl from the back seat to the front seat so that he could drive. But eventually, everybody was in there, happy and excited for their next journey.
soon it was time to head back home. Had to pick up my IFR flight clearance. We had to taxi out to the end of the runway and we started our trip home. 2431, clearance clear to Lima Hotel Zulu Airport, directors direct. Maintain 5,000, expect 7,000, one zero minutes after departure. Child stop frequency 121.2, Squawk 7471. Clear, cleared Lima Hotel Zulu, we'll expect radar vectors 5,000, 7,010. Departure 121.2, squawking 7474. I'm ready to taxi. Verify 2431, squawk 7471. Rest of Rebec is correct, taxi runway 23, the Alpha. Pam and I were both tired after a big day. It was a lot of flying, and Pam was in the back managing the dogs. And quite honestly, I was getting a little bit tired. You could hear that when I got the uh, transponder code wrong. But on the way back, Pam completely zonked out after we had taken off. Now you'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about. Tango's ready for departure, right traffic if you would. 6-9 Tango, roger, right traffic. Uh, Full short, 6-9 Tango. Palmer Towers, Sierra 24672 is with you. Uh, Set up for entry on the left down one for runway 23. Down down error 24672, follow the Pilatus. You said, uh, you, said you had him in sight? Uh, I did have him in sight. He's out a ways ahead of me now. November uh, 52431, descend to maintain 6,100 feet. Now is what I can offer, 6,100. 6,100431. The ride home was fairly uneventful, although long. I spent a lot of time looking out the window and just studying the landscape. Pam caught up on some much needed sleep along the way. As we neared home, the weather started to change a little bit. The skies were pretty clear, but there was a huge, moderate intensity rainstorm right in our path. So we kind of had to go around it and then we scooted under the edge. And soon, we were making the turn for home. Sirius is clearing it, uh, Miss Hill. All right, Skyline short final. Balloons waiting until we all come in. I think he's going to drop in that field there. But getting home doesn't mean the work's over. You still have a lot of things to do. Remember all that stuff that we had to do to get the plane ready to go? Well, we had to do all the stuff afterwards to get it ready to sleep. That's about another half hour of work. So you gotta clean the windows, you gotta put the plane cover on, clean the wings, clear out all the stuff in the plane, get it reorganized for the next flight, get it tied down, and all the while, you really can't see it in the video, but the sun was setting pretty fast, it was getting dark. We were ready to go home. We were both dog tired. But the good news is it was an effort that was exceptional because we were able to save three more dogs and have them have a happy life moving forward. For that, all the fatigue in the world was worth it. You can be a part of our dog rescue team. Just visit us at pilot.dog and become a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month. You can set a cap on how much you want to give each month. It doesn't matter. Any amount helps. Please help us save dogs.